Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the next part of Fernando Soar's Opus 60, number 5. This is a really great study to learn how to balance two voices and work your scales a bit with classical guitar, and it sounds really cool. So if you haven't seen part 1, you can check it out in the cards up there. Um, I have the playlist linked and everything. It's good to start at stage 1. There will probably be a couple other videos in there regarding this piece as well. So this second half is in A major. So in the first one we started with A minor. And to make A major, we're taking the same root note, but we're just raising the third, sixth, and seventh to give us the major. So you'll see the scales with color on the screen. If you haven't checked out the grand fretboard experiment, that's my um, series I'm doing on how to represent music theory using color on the fretboard. You can check that out if you like too. Okay, so let's take a look at line one. Don't forget to write this as a goal in your practice journal and keep your goals very small so that you can achieve them one at a time. Okay, let's take a look at the first two measures. I'm going to break this apart in two measure chunks. Just a couple quick things to keep in mind. We have the A major key signature here. So all our F, C's, and G's are all sharp, unless otherwise notated. Also, this is a two-line melody. More or less, we have our bass drum. But we, we don't want to play too much of this as if it's chords that should ring together. We want a, a melody that sounds like one line. So if we're doing this in the first measure, I'm going to actually cut the notes off as I move to the next so that you only really hear one note at a time aside from the bass. The bass should ring over all of it. Okay, so the first two measures, we're starting with our open A, second finger for the C sharp there on the second fret of the B, and the index is second fret of the G for the A, and then your open high E. Now that open high E is a dotted quarter note, so it's got to last an entire beat, so we get one. I count in two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. Now let's just do that one more time. Two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. Okay, let's take a look at the right hand here. Okay, so for our right hand, we're going to be using our thumb on the open A. on the B, index on the G, and annular on the open high E. And we're gonna, go, gonna do thumb on the low E, and then ring, middle, index, all on the B. So we get thumb, middle, index, ring, dun, dun, thumb, Let's take a look at the next two measures. All right, so the next two measures, starting with the low open E, second finger, second fret of the B for our um, C sharp, open B, index, second fret of the G for our A, open B, then the C sharp again, and we're gonna get low open uh, E and, and your open B string, high E, pinky fourth fret of the B for D sharp, and you're gonna slur from F sharp off to E there, second fret, and then you're going to use your second finger here to get to the third fret of the B for that D. So if I count in, two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. One more time. Alright, so for my right hand on these measures, we're doing thumb on the low E, ring on the B, middle for the open B, then index for the G, and then middle for the open B, ring for 
the the uh, second fret of the B, and then we're gonna do thumb and middle at the same time. Ring index middle pull off index. So. Next we got open A, index for C sharp, second fret of the B, second finger for our D and open high E, then our low E, second fret, or sorry, second finger, third fret of the B for your D, index for that C sharp, and then open B again. So two and a one. Okay, so our right hand fingerings for these two measures are thumb. We're going to get index on, on the B for that second fret, middle um, for the third fret of the B, and then ring for the open high E. Then we're going to get thumb again, and then ring. check out the next two measures. Okay, we're going to be using our thumb to pluck that low E to start. Second finger here for your C sharp of the B. Open high E. And then we have our D with the pinky, fourth or sorry, third fret of the B rather. Open B. And then our first fret of the G for the G sharp. Open A. Second finger, second fret of the A. Third finger, second fret of the B for the C sharp, and then open A again. So what we get is two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a again. So two and a one. hand fingerings for these two measures go thumb on the low E index for second fret of that B middle and then index again on the B for the the, the third fret there middle for open B index for the first of the G thumb on the A index on the G middle on the B thumb on the A so one more time we get thumb Index on the B, middle on the open high E, index on the B, middle on the B, index on the G, thumb, index on the G, middle on the B, and then thumb again. Let's take a look at the next two measures. Okay, so the next two measures, we're doing low open E, first fret of the G for the G sharp, open B our pinky for that third fret of the B for our D and then you're going to actually slide up so the index gets that second fret of the B for your C sharp open high E and you got to get that pinky so here's if you have trouble stretching here's the trick you're actually more it's more like you're stretching with your index finger backwards All right so when you when you come when you're coming up here you got to kind of hinge down with your arm and allow, watch my thumb back here as my thumb travels forward with my pinky. All right, so we get two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a, right? And we have those dotted quarter notes for the, the, uh, both the D and the A in the melody. Okay, so the right hand fingerings for these two measures, thumb on the low E, index on the G, Do 
the same type of pattern but starting on the B. So then we get thumb on the low E, index on the B, middle on the high E, and then annular on the high E. So we get dun, 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 index, middle, break, dun, index. Take a look at the next two measures. All right, gets a little trickier here. Still not too bad. We start with our low E. That's going to ring for all, both of the measures. Notice the tie down there. Third finger for the G sharp. Index for F sharp. Play that twice. Open high E. Second finger for the third fret of the B for that D. And then index for the C sharp. Second finger again for the D. Pinky for the D sharp. And you'll notice how I'm keeping these fingers on the, the fretboard because then I can hit the open high E. Oops. E, and then go back with my second finger to get that, that C sharp and the index. So it, it's actually a really nice kind of slidey, uh, don't leave the string type of technique. So we get we get two and a one. These two measures are a little trickier, so we're going to be starting with the thumb on the low E, and the ring on the, the high E, middle, index, middle for the open E, and then index for the B, and then we've got one middle again for the B, index for the B, middle, ring for our open high E, and then you're going to get middle for the B, index for the G. So thumb, ring, middle, index, middle, index, middle, index, middle, ring, middle, index. All right, let's take a look at the next two measures. All right, the next two measures we have our open high E, or open low E rather, first fret of the G. Review we get one and a two and a one and a two and a. let's just review the right hand again. So we've already run into this right hand fingering before, but just for a quick review, we have thumb, index, middle, ring, and then thumb, index, middle, ring. Okay, another pretty tricky part. We start with our low E, index for this F sharp. Pinky on the fourth fret of the B for the D sharp. We got our open B, index, pinky, and then second finger for the D. So that index on the G, pinky on the fourth fret of the D for the F sharp, and you can kind of just place that second finger down a little bit ahead of time and just lift the pinky up. We got first fret of the G, open B, high E, and then our third fret of the B with the pinky, open B. So we get two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a one more time two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a maybe one more time for measure two and a one Take a look at the right hand. All right, so the right hand fingerings are a little trickier on this one. We're gonna get thumb, then ring on the high E, middle on the B, index on the B, middle on the G, index on the D, and thumb on the D. That's kind of tricky. And then your index on the G, middle on the B, ring on the high E, then middle on the B. So thumb, ring, middle, index, middle, index, thumb, index, middle, ring, middle, index. OK, 
Okay, so this is the same as the um, first two measures of the second half, so let's just review it real quick. Thumb on the D A. Second and index, of course, for the C sharp and the A. Second for the D, index for that C sharp. So we have A, C sharp, A, B, C sharp, E, da, 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 da. Okay, check out the right hand, just a quick review. All right, so we've covered these right hand fingerings before, but just for a quick review, we have thumb on the A. two measures we're going to be doing open A, second finger, second fret of the B, open B, index, second fret of the G for the, the note A, open B, second finger again for the next C sharp, low E, B together, high E, uh, pinky for the D sharp, F sharp, second fret of the high E, pulling off to the open high E, and then second finger here, third fret of the B for your D. So, two, and a one and a two and a one and a two and a okay one more time two and a one review those right hand fingers. All right, these ones are going to look slightly familiar, um, if not totally familiar, so we're just going to run through them real quick. They are a little bit tricky, but you already learned these. So, thumb on the A, ring on the B, middle on the B, index on the G, middle on the open B, ring on the B again, then thumb and middle on the low E and B, right? Ring for the high E and then index for the B, E, pull off, and then index on the B again. All right, these next two measures, we've got open A, and then we have our index for the C sharp, second finger for the high, or second finger for the third fret of the B, for that D, and then open high E. And we're going to get open D, third fret of the B again, and then second fret of the high E, and pinky fifth fret, not that high A. So we get two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. All right, let's take a look at the right hand fingerings. Okay, so the next two measures, we're going to be doing thumb, Index on the B, middle on the B, ring on the high E, then thumb on the D, index on the B, middle on the high E, and ring again on the high E. Index, middle, annular, thumb, index, middle, annular. Alright, let's take a look at the next two measures. So for the next couple measures, you're going to be getting your index here for that second fret of the D, getting your E, open high E, second finger of the, uh, on the second fret of the B for the C sharp, low E, and then pinky for third fret of the B, then open B, and then you're going to get our your second finger, second fret of the G for the A, index, second fret of the D, and third finger is going to sneak up for the third fret of the B to close. Um, and then one more, open A. So we get two and a one. So to finish off these last two measures, we got thumb on the D, middle on the high E, index on the B, thumb, middle on the B, index on the B, and then we're going to get 
thumb and middle on our A and G strings, and X, and ring on the B, and thumb. Thumb, middle, and X, thumb, middle, and X, thumb and middle, and X, ring, thumb. All right, let's take a moment to talk about the form. I'm gonna upload a separate video completely taking a look at all of the harmonic properties of this piece. We're gonna use color to take a look at it. That's coming up. But for now, we just need to know the form so that you can play this piece. So we're going to be repeating each section that we run up to with the double dot. So we're, of course, starting with the first one, which... Right, you play that two times. Then the next repeating section, the... You're going to be playing that two times. The next section after that is our... That's two times. Then after that, you get the... Right, that's going to be two times through. Um, so each section two times. And then you reach the end and you get this little symbol here, the DSL signet. So you, you, get, you go back to this symbol at the beginning and then play to fine, which means you'll be repeating the first two sections again. Um, so you do the first half, second half, then first half again. All right, guys, have fun playing this one. I'm going to be uploading my own performance of this um, probably on Friday, as well as another video next week taking a look at all of the harmonic um, properties of this piece. And we're going to use color. It's going to be a lot of fun. Happy practice, guys. Definitely do not forget to subscribe or check out the next video. Have fun, guys. Definitely do not forget to subscribe and like this video.